microchips. They may be the tiniest and yet most important product in our digital world. The semiconductor that runs everything from smartphones to electric cars is the focus of Dr. Liu's research. For the past decade, he's been testing new materials and helping chip users troubleshoot. You can think of us as both a nursery and a hospital. Using computer algorithms, we can predict how a new chip will behave before it's even born. We also take in malfunctioning chips and find ways to make them more durable. Dr. Liu is part of an institute helping to convert world-class research from Hong Kong universities into commercial applications on the mainland. A major support comes in the form of these black boxes. Our supercomputing center has served more than 200 teams over seven years. It's especially important in ocean and climate studies, as well as biology. The number of calculations it's done would have taken a high-performing family computer 4,000 years to complete. Supercomputing has also been used by the Hong Kong cycling team, which won a bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympics last year. An athlete rides the bike in a Hong Kong lab, which feeds the aerodynamic data over here. The supercomputer runs the numbers and sends results back to Hong Kong, so the cyclists can optimize their movements and find the path of least resistance. Analysts see a potential influx of Hong Kong startups into Guangzhou. Financial incentives and short commute to key supply hubs attract investment. Meanwhile, the new Hong Kong UST Guangzhou campus adds fresh talent to the equation. This means Guangdong now has a leading research university on the upstream, matched with a strong manufacturing sector on the downstream. The future of collaboration between academia and industry is filled with potential. The Greater Bay Area's GDP reached two trillion U.S. dollars last year. Dr. Liu hopes the increase of talent movements will open up more opportunities in the southern economic powerhouse.